Hello everyone. In this video, we'll explore a volumetric viewer I created for Godot. Volumetric data is produced by all sorts of scanners and simulations. Visualizing it is not always straightforward though. Since this kind of data represents the density of an object that is being scanned, one way to see it is to treat the density as transparency and then trace the path of a light ray as it travels through the volume. We'll do this by writing a special shader that tracks the path of this ray. The shader produces this effect by taking our volume and slicing it into several planes that are perpendicular to our viewing direction. Well, it doesn't slice it in the sense that it creates more geometry to render. It just calculates where in space those layers would be and then adds their color to what has been seen so far. Since each pixel represents a density, we can then use a gradient to color it. Then, by stacking several planes on top of each other and drawing them from back to front, we can create the illusion of a see-through volume. We'll also need a surface that will act as a canvas that our image will be drawn upon. We'll use a simple cube, since the volume data is already stored in an image that is cube-shaped. We will invert the cube's faces, though, so that we see the insides of the cube instead of the outsides. This will stop the image from disappearing if the camera happens to move inside the cube. To use this add-on, you can download it from this GitHub page or go to the Godot asset library. Add the directory to your project and enable it in the Godot add-ons window. Once this is set up, you can add a new volume viewer to your project by pressing the plus button in the scene window and selecting the volume layered shader component. Now you need to give it the image data it needs to draw. There are several ways to do this, but I'd recommend clicking on the texture slot in the inspector window and creating a zipped image archive CPU texture 3D. This is a special resource that is part of the add-on that lets you load zip files that are filled with a stack of images. Godot does not have any standard 3D file formats it can load, so this custom texture loader lets you do the next best thing by treating a zip file full of images as if it were the layers of a 3D volume. You can produce these archives from other 3D image file formats using a converter, such as the one at the website www.onlineconverter.com uh, slash nifty2png. It will let you convert file formats, such as the NII format produced by MRI machines, into zip stacks of images that Godot can use. Now that you've loaded your image data, you should be able to view your subject from any direction. By changing the number of layers, you can increase the resolution and quality of the image. You can also change the gradient to alter how solid or transparent different parts of your volume are. The gamma slider will shift the overall density of the volume. This can let you bring out or hide away the softer parts of your subject. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. Happy viewing!